Hello, everybody. It's so great to see you all. Welcome to this week's special holiday edition of Socks at Home, a video conversation that's presented by MasterCard. And MasterCard is offering priceless experiences that you can enjoy at home like this one. So make sure you go to priceless.com to learn more. Welcome to all of you Red Sox families. I hope that everyone is happy and healthy and well and really looking forward to the holidays. They're, they're a little bit different this year, but that's why we're trying to engage everybody and get everybody together. So I'm really excited. My name's Jenny Johnson. I'll be walking you guys through some fun cookie demonstrations today. And of course you can see Red Sox manager, Alex Cora down there with his entire family. He's there in Puerto Rico. Really and make some cookies with you. Great. Hi, guys. Great questions that I know a lot of you have asked. And then we also have Party Favors. And Party Favors is going to teach us how to make some really cool cookies and make us feel like artists as we get ready for the holidays. So hi, John. It's good to see you. Thank you. Thank you. Glad to be here. And of Thank course, you. Last but certainly not least, we have Wally, everybody. And he is, uh, you know, missing seeing you guys in person, but happy to see you guys here. So it's good to see you, Wally. So we have a lot of different cookies. I'm going to show you a couple of them. We'll start with the one that is uh, most important, right? We have the Wally cookie right here. And we're going to be making some of them with John. He's going to show us how we can recreate these things at home. He'll also be telling us some of the things that we need. But first, I want to get a question out there from somebody that is on uh, online right now. Andrew from Swamp Scott. Oh, I'm actually a North Shore person, too. So Andrew from Swamp Scott wanted to ask Alex. So Alex, we're going to take you off mute. The question is, do you like to bake or do you like to cook? And if so, what are your favorite things to make? Do you like to cook or, or bake? Do you wish uh, I, I like to cook. I mean, the baking side of it is, is hard, but you know what? I'm up. I'm up to the challenge right now. <laughs> We're up to the challenge today, but... Uh, you know, looking forward for this event and, and have fun with the family and thank you for the invitation. I think, uh, I think uh, breakfast, breakfast. I'm, a, oh, I'm okay. the breakfast so What are you guy. cooking for breakfast? Yeah, uh, I like, well, I remember when my mom taught me how to do scrambled eggs. I was five at that time. So 40 years later, he still scrambled eggs. You know, that's a specialty. But obviously, I put peppers, I put... Uh, uh turkey i put sausage you know i mix it up i try to mix it up so uh but uh yeah i still remember i was five when i learned how to do that that sounds like good breakfast to me so you guys are obviously in puerto rico what's the weather like outside make us jealous wow well, I, I mean it's only 82 and it's not humid <laughs> uh, sorry but uh this is where we this is where we live I always said, we're, we're, we're you guys vacation, that's where we live. So, you know, oh. we're loving it right now. Oh, it is such a special place. I've had the pleasure of, of being there. It really, really is. The flavors, the, the views, everything about Puerto Rico is, is, is so special. Um, I can tell you that I think it's like... 32 here in case you were curious. Uh, I know that's what it was this morning. Maybe we hit 35, not sure. That, that's pretty solid. Uh, I had actually a, a press conference two days ago. There were like a hundred reporters and uh, I grabbed my laptop and I showed them, you know, outside. And, uh, you know, sometimes they, they want to be tough on me. Well, I, I, I think I was tougher on them two days ago. Oh God. Okay. Yeah. I, 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 I look at that view and so many of us are yearning for the day that we can come back down and visit. So, okay. So, and I want John, I want to talk to you, but I want to give people an idea of what's going to be happening here. So we have a bunch of different cookies that party favors has put together for us. And, you know, they make these Red Sox cookies all the time, but not only do they make great Red Sox cookies, they make a slew of other things. I went in there the other day to get some cookies so that I could make some stuff with you all today. And they sent me home with this. The most beautiful gingerbread house I have ever seen. And there were tons of them in the store. And then there's there's cookies and pastries and tarts and, you know, and, and make your own candy bags and so many different things. And there's also do-it-yourself kits 
for cookie kits, but also for gingerbread houses as well. So for folks that are watching and want to really, you know, get excited with the family this holiday season, you can go curbside uh, pickup or in-store pickup uh, for those things. If you're if you're interested in the website, I'm going to give a few times today is partyfavorsonlineshop.com. So John, how are you doing today? I'm doing great. Thank you. Thank you. And we All right, so show us, I showed everybody Wally. So why don't you show us the other two cookies that people okay. can make along at home? We're going to be doing a baseball with Wally. Okay. And then we're going to do the Boston Red Sox logo. I started doing it here. So we'll just finish that up too. Nice. I have one too, just for a little show. Oh, you got time. one down there, you see. And the thing is, I have uh, clear bags, disposable bags, which you can get anywhere, or you can use a regular Ziploc bag. Okay, so for folks who don't have these clear bags, so explain. You just grab a Ziploc bag, and then what Ziploc do we do? Ziploc bag, and you fill it. You put frosting inside, and you snip the tip, and it becomes a bag. How cool is that? And then it just pipes out. And I will say, you have to be like a little bit delicate, because I think I broke a few of the cookies, which was fine, because it just meant yeah. I got to eat a few of the cookies. But there is kind, there is most certainly a uh, an art to this. So let's start with the baseball today. And so, um, John, while you're decorating, I'm going to ask a few questions sure, and then yeah. we'll touch base with you. Um, all right. So this is from a season ticket holder. And this is from Kim from Southampton, Massachusetts. Hello to you. Hope you're doing well uh, during the holidays. And Kim wants to know, Alex, tell us about some of the special traditions during the holidays in Puerto Rico. <laughs> Um, one thing, as you know, Jenny, we like to eat a lot down here. So, uh, obviously this, re this season is going to be different, right? Because, uh, we're not going to be able to bring as many people here at the house, but, uh, you know, we, we like cookouts and, uh, during Christmas, that's what you do. Uh, while you're doing that traditionally, People will come, you know, they, they call it trullas, parrandas, and it's like a, a, a group of musicians, and, uh, you know, they'll come in. Some Sometimes they come in at 8 in the morning, at 8 at night, sorry. Some Sometimes at 3 in the morning, you know, all depends how much they like you. But uh, usually, if you are the last house of la parranda or the trullas, so you... you you prepare this soup, you know, because they've been they've been singing and partying for like five or six hours. So at the end, they come in, you know, whoever it is, they sing, they, they party, and then at the end, you serve the soup, and then they, they go home. So they're called parrandas, trullas. It's pretty cool. Oh, I love that. So do you think that there will still be people celebrating just not coming into the homes? Um, yeah, actually, um, the other day around the neighborhood, they did one, but it was, uh, like, uh, oh in their cars, you know, they, 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 they called the person that they were gonna, they were gonna go by everybody on their cars, you know, like pickup trucks and all that. They, they play their music for half hour and then they took off. Um, it was pretty cool. It was actually one of those that it puts everything in perspective where we at. You know, it's been tough times, but at the same time, you have to adjust. And uh, I think we're doing a good job doing that. So can I ask, can I ask Camila, what is your favorite thing to eat during the holidays? My favorite thing to eat is probably, well, we have arroz con gandules, which is like rice and like beans, but it's like for, for the holidays. We always eat rice and beans, but this is like <laughs> a dish for the holidays with um with pork and and a lot of different things so that's probably my favorite um also christmas breakfast and all of that we eat a lot so everything <laughs> I got it. I, one of these days, I want to eat some of that food. And so, and so, is Angelica? Does she do a lot of the? Is she cooking a lot during this time of year? Angelica, she 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 does a good job with it. Uh, one thing that she's laughing because I'm gonna <laughs> throw her under the bus. We're became we're, we're becoming really really good about ordering food from uh, different restaurants awesome. because we have to actually help them out. Yes. Um, you know, for, for Thanksgiving, for my birthday, it was in October. 
for the, we 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 order we get we'll bring it and it's in indiv individual cases you know like and uh, we'll give it away and at the same time you know we decide who we want to help around the the area and we send food to them so she's she's doing a good job with that but she's a good cook she doesn't want to admit it but she's really good well listen i gotta say that i love hearing that because we need to support these restaurants and these small businesses more than anything i mean that's certainly what we do on dining playbook and so you know for folks who can do that on a regular basis that is something that we're <laughs> gift cards and all those things all right so john you are moving on you're 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 whipping no. through like you know like like nothing like reading a book takes yeah. a little bit longer for everybody else so this is the one that i started here's my little baseball i don't know what do you think looks all right right looks what do you really think, good. i like it you want a part-time so job that i realized so give me give me some tips like give me some pointers as to like how you know you, you really just you know give us some some of your expertise when you have a bag like this, you just want to do it halfway and twist it between your thumb and your finger there, and then apply pressure. Okay. It comes out much easier. It doesn't hurt your hand. Well, this is this is also what I'll tell you. If you don't do the halfway <laughs> thing, then the frosting comes out better. the top and you get it all over the place. So that's a good that's a good tip, John. So yeah. I love this story about party favors. So John, you have actually been working with party favors since you were in high school. And now it is your business that you bought yeah. with your wonderful wife, who I've had the pleasure of getting to know. And you've been a thank Red you, Sox you. fan your whole life because you grew up in Brookline. Yeah, I remember sixth grade, I would skip school. My friend Scott and I went and bought tickets. We sat all day in line. I skipped school. My mother would have killed me if she found out. But um, <laughs> we waited in line. In those days, I think the box seats, I think we paid four dollars and you no know, bleachers, I think were two dollars and something. Wow. And we stayed in line, we had like fifty dollars on us, and that was like all the money we had. We just spent it all in tickets. Oh uh, well, it must be so fun to be able to be a part of like, you know, making the decorations for the Red Sox all oh, yeah. these years. I mean, that's that's so cool. And you do such a beautiful job. Everybody on the call kept saying, Oh, they're the best cookies, they're the best cakes, they're the best thank you, everything. Thank you. So tell me, is there a trick to doing the words? Because that 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 feels like complicated to me. I mean, mine mine kind of look like well, I use not very legible. <laughs> Yeah. You gotta balance your bag. So if you're squeezing with one hand, I tilt it with the other one. Mm. So I, I guide it with this hand and I press it with this hand. So it has more more control over the bag. Okay. So it's about Basically. control and getting control over your frosting as opposed Correct. to like letting letting the frosting get control of you. Nice, Wally. Wally, nice Wally, that looks good. Pretty job. Good. I'm impressed. Good job. Okay, so now we have That's another cool. question from Christopher from Newtown, uh, probably from Newton, Massachusetts. And he's asking Alex, uh, what's your favorite Christmas memory with your family? I love this one. Well, um, we, well whenever they open up their gift, it's always a, a great memory. But when I was, a, when, when I was, uh, when I was six, I was in love with Star Wars. Love with Star Wars. And, uh, you know, I got up the next morning and Santa left, you know, the, all the, the Millennium Falcon, you know, all the action figures. And at the same time, it was kind of like somehow, some way Santa prepared like one of these uh, planets, you know, and it, it was like, it was an amazing morning just seeing all this stuff you know it was like at that time you know we still got pictures actually somebody uh, asked me for a picture two two years ago about that that day and uh it was amazing but besides that you know her christmas and then this too you know they've been pretty cool you know just to see them running around playing with their toys and enjoying the family I know. I was going to say it's very, I have a daughter who's kind of the same age as the twins. And it's like, when you watch them opening presents, it's like you get more excited than any gift you could have ever been given. Just watching their excitement. Yeah. The, the funny thing about that, right, Jenny, and, and you lived it. It doesn't matter what the box brings, you know, toy wise at the end, the best toy is the box, you know, I mean, it's amazing 
how they ended up the day playing with the box. I totally, and their faces are just like, this is so incredible. And it makes us realize how wonderful the small things are. You know, it makes us appreciate those things. Um, okay, so let's see. I wanna go on to the next cookie. This one looks kind of hard. Okay, so this one we have in here is the Wally. Wow. The Wally, it's all about you, buddy. Let's make this all about you. So this is- Oh my God, Meta. So, so where do we start, John? John, are you there? Yep, I'm here. All right, so walk us through because this one looks kind of complicated and I want Wally to be proud of us for what we're doing here. All right, so for Wally, I do the mouth first. You put black down, you could use dark chocolate, doesn't matter. And then we smooth it out a little bit. And then I have, because I have a tip that comes out like a grass tip. And then we make his fur. And you can just use a green bag if you didn't have this. So you go around his mouth first. So I'll do the mouth first. Okay. And you give him a smile. I'm attempting mine too. You can do it. Alex and Angelica mm -hmm. and Camila, you guys got to show us some of the things you guys are doing. <laughs> uh, we, we got, this is Angelica's, this is her baseball. Nice. That looks good, cool. girl. Yeah. So she did, she, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Camila, Camila did this one right there. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And this one is mine. You know, I, I did okay. I don't know. You, I feel like Alex, you needed like a little bit more of a curve there, you know? Yeah, yeah. It doesn't. I don't know. It doesn't look like a baseball, to be honest. With you. Maybe, maybe you should. Yeah, you know, you know what a baseball looks oh. like better than all of us. And I, I feel like, like maybe you should just stick with the real baseball. Maybe you don't need to go to school or anything it, it like that. Work out. Yeah. But here's the deal. Well, the what were you saying, John? Good job, Wally. I like his cookie. Oh, Wally, it looks see, awesome. See it. I love it. Right. Anytime you want a part-time job, Wally, come here's on my, down. Here's my attempt at Wally. That's not, that's good. That's good. So, John, tell us about some of the other things uh, that they can get at party favors, and also, is there still time to get stuff for the holidays? Oh, there's always time. We never sell, never say no. But we have a full party store also with cards and wrap and all that sort of stuff. Plates, napkins, everything else, and candy. And um, I'm just going to say one thing. I'm only as blessed as the people I work with. I work with great people, and that makes it all happen. I've been very blessed for 30 years of having a store. Work with great people. That makes the whole thing possible. And customers. And obviously, you have you been able to have? You, I'm sure you have such loyal customers. And obviously, your business has shifted a lot during you know the, yeah. this past year. And so, how have you guys been managing? It's a, it's a challenge, but we're doing it with all curbside pickup and things. But you know, we still try to keep the place safe. We limit the customers in the store to six customers at a time. Good. But uh, due to the online store and the curbside pickup, we're, we're still hanging in. Okay. We're hanging in. Well, like, like, like both Alex and I said, let's support these small businesses all oh, weekend. So and now I have another question from Steven from Springfield. Uh, and he wants to ask you, Alex, how's free agent work oh, during the pandemic? Um, it's been a lot different, honestly. Um, first of all, catching up with everything that we, we are trying to accomplish as an organization. But uh, this, this Zoom thing, I'm a rookie, you know, and uh, there's a lot of Zoom meetings. Um, communication with our players, it's been normal, you know, just pick up the phone and call Andrew. Hey, Benny, how you doing? But just to re the recruit part of it is a lot different. Um, there's no fly them to Fenway Park and show them how great Fenway is. It's more about being a car salesman, right? You know, this is what we do. This is what we're trying to accomplish. We play in the greatest uh, ballpark in, in, in the big leagues. We have the best fans. And hopefully, you know, we do a good job and uh, we can convince some of these guys to come over. It's been a little slow, but I think it's been slow as, uh, as, as, uh, as an industry. But um, actually looking forward to, to see Heim 
work, you know, his magic the next few weeks and uh, be ready for spring training and, and compete at the level that we know we can compete. Good, good. First of all, I have to give a shout out to your matching outfits because you guys look so, you guys look like you're in a, in like a, a, a magazine right now. Like I need a real, I need a f- photograph there to capture this. Nothing looks better than that backdrop right now. Thank you. Thank you. Um, okay. So I, actually, Wally, I got a question for you, buddy. Abby from Park City, Utah, all the way in Utah, wants to know what is your favorite holiday dessert? Fruitcake, but hold the fruit. <laughs> Wally, listen, you got to keep us laughing. I love it. Actually, I will say there were some really cute little fruit tarts, or maybe they look like maybe fruit cakes, John, that I saw in your um, that I saw when I came into Party Favors the other day. Yeah, miniature fruit tarts. You know, we do a six inch. I mean, a nine inch and a three inch. Just fresh fruit on top. We make them every day. You know, that's really cool. You love it, Wally. Yeah, also, Wally, we need to get you a couple of those fruit of, of those fruit tarts, but I'm happy that you like the fruit. I'll just make sure to get you a giant cake. Right. <laughs> so, but here's what you gotta do. You just gotta eat all these cookies and you'll be good. I think so. Okay, so let's see. So um, Alex, one more question. This one's from Kelly from Chester, New Hampshire. And Alex. Uh, Kelly wants to know, do you have a 2021 New Year's resolution as it relates to the Red Sox? Um, play better at home, to be honest with you. Play better at Fenway Park. If we play better at Fenway Park, good things are going to happen for this team. Uh, and this is as a manager, you know. Uh, as a baseball fan, for you people to enjoy the Red Sox at Fenway Park. You know, to be able to be at Fenway, uh, 45,000 people showing up every day. Uh, I think if, if we see that, we know that our world is supposed to where it's supposed to be, right? Yes. Okay, that's a big one. I know when, we're, when you're able to feel the energy inside Fenway, that's going to be a big deal. My little kid, my little kid just woke up and wants to say hi to and wants to say hi to your boys and Camila. Can you say hi to Angelica? Uh, Can Wally. Can you see Wally? And there's their name. Name. So, so uh, Wally, get us a one more question. So the last question would be, um, I like this. I like this one. Is what's your favorite chocolate? Chocolate treat. Are you guys chocolate fans, Alex, at home? Um, right here. She likes chocolate right here. Um, Camila, not, not so much. Yeah. Um, you know what? As far as chocolate, any kind. She, she's not picky about it. No. 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 Whatever. Whatever. I mean, when we go there, you can send us a box. She'll crush it. She'll be fine with it. I love it. I love it. We need to get together for some chocolate, like some lava cakes or something, Angelica, when you come back to Boston. Well, I'll, have to, I'll have to make sure I pick out some of the good restaurants to check out. Yeah. So, and then, and, and, and how have things been with the kids adjusting, like, school-wise? Actually, Camila, you, tell us how you've been doing during uh, the past year. Um... Well, I'm a senior, right? I'm a senior in high school. So it's been um, difficult, obviously not the ideal scenario, but it's been cool to have my dad at home and just do regular father-daughter things and just talk and him having to knock on my door before entering my room if I'm in a virtual class. Like he's been through all of it this year. So it's really cool that my last year at high school, um, he's really been able to experience um my experience. So um it's been great, obviously. <laughs> but I do miss my friends and I do miss going to Boston and visiting Fenway. <laughs> but, but it's been good. It's been good. 
yeah, I think I think that's that's such yeah. an important point is that I think we all you want the other one. Okay. Um, I think the most important thing is that we all look for that silver lining, and that is definitely a silver lining. What would you like? Would you like some cookies? Yes. Do you see Wally? Do you see Wally? Let's can we wave to Wally? Wally's waving to you. Everybody's so excited to see Wally. Of course, we miss you, Wally. We hope that you're staying. And Barbara is on the call right now said that she loves your matching shirts just like I do. Everybody's saying happy holidays, happy everything. Um, and let's see. I feel like we got to try these. Oh, that cookie looks good, girl. Redeeming yourself. Like Angelica. Angelica. Yeah, redeeming myself. Angelica's, um, Angelica's, I think. I think it was. Come close. Wally. Wally. Wally, I like you. you hey, Wally, I love you. I love you. Hey, right here. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry, Wally. She loves you, too. She loves you, too. Even if we can't make the best Wally cookies, we all love you. We're trying our best. She's not giving us as much as a smile. But, uh, John, I want to thank you for participating. I want to give you a chance to let people know what some things might be that they want to do either for the holidays or afterwards. Sure. Um, we have, we're, we're, we're here. We'll be here for um, caught me off guard. Uh, birthday cakes and everything else. And hope, we can't wait for this all to be over so we can start celebrating again, so we can have parties again and all that stuff because it's really been really depressing partly. But I would love to get this all over behind us and start celebrating like we were before. That'd be the best, my best wish for 2021. I yeah. love that. And we have that wish for you too. And I know as Alex mentioned and Angelica, like it, it is so important to be supporting these small businesses right now because thank you, thank they're, you. they're like the lifeblood of our communities. So it, um, the more that we can do that, the better. So the more cookies you can buy, the more, the more cakes you can enjoy. Um, this is a great example. And the do-it-yourself kits that you guys are offering awesome. is something that everybody on this call should check out. So the website is partyfavorsonlineshop.com. You can do the different houses like I showed you before that my daughter just wants to dive into. And you can do the cookies like we're doing at home. And I'll tell you, the kits are awesome. They set me up with one too. So uh, Alex, I have to ask, is there still a restaurant... Um, called Jose Enrique's. Jose Enrique in Santurce, right? Yeah. I think so, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's one of my favorite restaurants. He's such a talented chef, so check him out if he's still there, if you guys haven't ordered from there at some point. Cool, we'll do that. All right, and we are, we're sending you love from here in Boston. Wally, we're so glad that you were here with us today. We're sending all of you fans, everybody who's watching live, all the season ticket holders, we're really grateful for all of your support during this crazy time. Thanks for tuning in. We have a lot more Red Sox at home presented by MasterCard opportunities that are happening throughout the off season. So you get to be able to hang with folks like Wally and the wonderful Alex Cora and his whole family. Guys, it was so nice to meet you. Hi. And I hope everybody has a very happy, a very healthy and a wonderful holiday season. And of course, as Alex said, we cannot wait to see you back at Fenway Park in 2021. I'm Jenny Johnson from Dining Playbook, and uh, it's been a pleasure to be here with you guys today. Thank you, John, from Party Favors in Brooklyn. My pleasure, my pleasure. Thank you for having me. Can you say bye? Can you wave bye? Bye. Happy holidays. Happy holidays, guys. We look forward to seeing you soon. Thank you. Thank you.